Peter Nears was a prominent figure in a loosely connected network of robbers and killers who operated in rural areas. The composition of this network constantly changed, with members joining forces for major raids or splitting up into smaller groups to carry out smaller-scale crimes in different locations. Peter and his gang, led by Summer, started an all sack, but later separated to commit robberies and murders. They were eventually captured in various places. The operating style was not unique to Peter and his gang. It seems that Peter had a mentor named Martin Steer, who led a gang of 49 bandits disguised as shepherds. From the 1550s until his arrest and execution in 1572, Steer's gang roamed from the Netherlands to Wurttemberg, committing murders and robberies along the way. The profession of shepherding was considered dishonorable. These shepherds were often suspected of criminal activities due to their isolated and marginalized status. In 1577, Peter and some of his gang members were apprehended. One gang member, Klaus Stryker, confessed to assisting Peter in the murder of a young woman ten years prior. Another accomplice, Peter Oblath, provided a list of 14 gang members, including Nears. Peter himself was arrested and tortured in Gersbach, where he confessed to 75 acts of murder, but managed to escape. In the years following his escape until his final arrest in 1581, Stories circulated about his alleged cannibalism and proficiency in black magic. According to tales, Peter and Summer's gang supposedly met the devil in Falsberg, who endorsed their activities and provided them with monthly pay and supernatural powers, such as Peter's ability to become invisible. It was believed that Peter learned the art of invisibility from his mentor, Martin Steer. Peter's capture was attributed to the loss of a bag containing magical materials necessary for his invisibility spell, which included the remains of babies. Peter was also attributed to other supernatural powers, including the ability to transform his physical appearance into that of a log, stone, goat, dog, or cat. However, a contemporary account suggesting that Peter was simply a master of disguise. A circulated warrant from 1579, based on confessions from his captured accomplices, described Peter frequently changing his appearance and assuming various disguises, such as a soldier or a leper. The warrant also noted that he always carried a significant amount of money, two loaded pistols in his trousers, and a large two-handed sword. Peter Nears, after evading capture for some time, was eventually arrested and executed. He stayed at an inn called The Bells in Newmark leaving behind his bag of magical materials with the innkeeper while he went to a public bathhouse. His notorious reputation and physical appearance had spread through warrants and pamphlets. A cooper at the bathhouse recognized him, and word started to circulate among the guests that he might be the wanted criminal. Unaware of the growing suspicion, Peter continued his bath. Two citizens quietly went to the inn and obtained Peter's bag from the innkeeper. Upon opening it, they discovered several hands and hearts of murdered babies. The townspeople swiftly reacted, gathering a group of eight men who apprehended Peter. Realizing that his bag had been discovered, Peter confessed to his true identity and admitted guilt for his numerous murders. Throughout his career as a murderer, said to have spanned some 15 years, Peter was finally found guilty of having murdered 544 individuals, including 24 pregnant women and the fetuses Peter had cut out of their wombs for acts of cannibalism and the use in rituals of magic. Peter was tortured and executed over the course of three days in September of 1581. On the first day, strips of flesh were torn from his body and heated oil was poured into his wounds. On the second day, his feet were smeared with heated oil and then held above glowing coals, thereby roasting him. On the third day, September 16th, 1581, he was dragged to the place of execution and broken on the wheel. The wheel was slammed down upon him 42 times. Still alive, he was finally dismembered by quartering.